Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're gonna play Clue. So, there's been an update recently. Not only can you play local multiplayer now, but there's a new theme available, and that's what we're gonna be playing with today. The new Sherlock theme, and it absolutely fits. Clue, Sherlock, murder mysteries, yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the new characters. There's Miss Scarlet. There's Constable Plum, Peacock, Professor Moriarty. Oh, that is awesome. I like that. Sherlock Holmes, Irene Adler, Rusty, Dr. Watson, and Peach. All right. Ah, you know what? We've got to be Sherlock Holmes. I mean, generally, I'm not the yellow character, but... Come on, it's Sherlock Holmes. We're going to pick Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so it looks like they redid this screen too a bit. Um, let's go ahead and just leave everyone on easy. We'll leave... Uh, we do want to change their themes, though. We want them to be Sherlock-y. So we want Moriarty. We're going to want to play against... Uh, let's do Irene Adler. Let's do... We need Dr. Watson in there. Um... Rusty, sure, we'll do Rusty. And I guess Frankenstein wouldn't fit either. Um, I guess Constable Plum? Out of all of them, sure. Okay, I, I guess that's, that's not bad. We'll do that. Ooh, I, I like the scenery. Oh, cool. All right. One suspect, one weapon, and one room card? That's what we got to figure out. Who done it, with what, and where? Hey, look at that. I won the lottery. I get to go first. Ten. I'll take it. Okay, so our cards are Watson, the... I can't read it because it's crossed out, and the museum, some sort of club. Uh, let's go... We already know about the museum. At this point, it really doesn't matter because we really don't know who has what. Let's go to... let's go to Baker Street. The very Sherlocky location. Oh, I love it. Look at that. I love it. The violin, the chessboard. Okay, they, they really went all out with this one. Okay, I like it. Um, so let's go with, uh, I guess, Moriarty with the sword. And we've got a. Ch oh, yeah. Oh, wrong one. We've got to pick from here. All right, let's do Moriarty and the sword. There we go. Aha, so Moriarty has Moriarty. All right, so it can't be him. It's always him in the Sherlock stories. Well, not always. Guess we'll just end turn. But we know that Watson does not have the sword or Baker Street. Rusty with the razor. Oh, Moriarty has one of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and... So it could be... Razor? Moriarty could have the printing press. Hmm. There we go. So Rusty, Razor, Printing Press. So it could be either one of these three. Hmm. Moriarty. Blowpipe. Oh my! Well, I gotta show him this card. 
I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a club. So the blowpipe could be a real thing. I mean, I... I mean, we don't know if Moriarty is bluffing. He might have the blowpipe. I mean, he suggested it, but he could have it anyway. And Dr. Watson could have it. But we'll keep an eye on that. And Moriarty suggested himself. And he showed us his card. So he, he, the computer can definitely guess cards or suggest cards that they have. Dr. Watson with the sword in the department store. And Rusty showed him something. Who? Hmm. Well, we have Watson, so she didn't show him Watson. Or Rusty didn't show her Watson. So, maybe the sword? Let's put a one there. And maybe the department store. We'll put a one there. All right. All right, Plum, what do you got? Moving over to the printing press. I like, I like the, the printing press. I like how everyone disappears, though, when he's bringing out his weapon. All right, so Rusty showed something again. What was that? Uh, Watson, which we have. The sword, that's the second time now. Or the printing press. So we'll do that and that. Man, Rusty's just getting suggested all over the place here. Oh, Watson showed something. All right, well, what did he show? All right, uh, Rusty, uh, let's do one. Could be the blowpipe, and it could be the department store. Hmm. Still not enough information to really narrow anything down, but... We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. All right, so... Doesn't matter what I roll, I can always take the secret passage. Might be a good idea to do that. Six. I could go to the dark alley. Um, ideally, I'd want to go somewhere that I can eliminate a lot of stuff. Um, I, I've got the club, so if I go to the club, if I use the secret passage and go to the club, then I know that I'll either get a, a suspect or a weapon. Let's actually do that. Let's, let's head there. And... I'm tempted to suggest the sword, just to see if everyone but Rusty passes. Because if you look at to the right here, it's possible that he suggested it twice. The alternative to that is he showed him someone the printing press and someone else the department store. Like, it, it seems like the odds are that Rusty has the sword. If you want to be sure, we can, we can maybe get do that now like i can suggest watson because i've got watson right so someone's gonna show me a sword or someone's not gonna show me a sword that's just um but do i want to risk the sword now or do i want to go for something different maybe uh the blowpipe just to see if one of these two have it You know, I, I think it's very likely that he has the sword. And that would be a waste on my part to suggest it. Whereas, it's possible that Watson showed either the Rusty card, Department Store card, or the Blowpipe card. And there's, so there's, there's a 1 in 3 chance that he'll show the Blowpipe. And then, who knows what Moriarty has. Let's, let's do the Blowpipe. Because we know these three don't have it. Oh, Watson, he's got the blowpipe. Okay. So, it's still very possible that he has Rusty and the department store. But, I mean, it, it's possible, but we don't know for sure. But at least I, I, I get the suspicion that he doesn't, but we, we won't know that until we see more cards. All right. It was a chance, but we, we you know, so it goes. Moving over to Baker Street. Sherlock's pad. Okay. 
Hey, Plum showed Watson something. What was it? All right, it was either Plum himself, the Truncheon, or Baker Street. Okay. Would it be ironic if the crime was committed in Sherlock Holmes' own apartment? <laughs> Just saying. Just... Maybe I'm the murderer and I did it at home. Maybe. Maybe. Wouldn't that be a twist? It's not in the books anywhere. Irene Adler. Alright, well. What did she show Moriarty, I wonder? Was it the Adler card? Was it... It wasn't the Truncheon. She passed on that before. So it's either that or the printing press. One of the two. Alright. Continue. Oh, someone's accusing me with the truncheon. Alright, what did Rusty show? It was either... Okay, so I gotta start using the three now. Three, truncheon, and the printing press. Now, that would have been the second time that he could have shown the printing press. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right. He's either got the sword or the printing press or a combination of... Or, or both, maybe. We don't know any of his cards yet. Watson, Truncheon. Oh, I gotta show him the Watson card. Hmm. Okay, so... Rusty passed on the truncheon here that was on the three so we can get rid of that so now we know and this one let's get rid of that so that means that purple here plum either showed plum or baker street or and or rusty here showed sherlock or the printing press and the truncheon they passed on here so that got rid of one of the three that they could have possibly showed. Let's see if there's any other X's that... Hmm. No, I guess that's it. Okay, continue. Baker Street's looking more and more real now. I mean, I might have to go there just to see. Plum with the razor. Oh, I gotta show the museum. That was kind of a waste. I really don't like showing my cards. The more information I can keep hidden, the better. Everyone's just hanging out here at the printing press. Oh, right. Well, we can't get to Baker Street. Uh, let's see. We can go back to the club. And then use the shortcut next turn to get over there, assuming no one accuses us. Or suggests us, I should say. And as far as the weapon, the truncheon. Uh, that's... Everyone's passed, except... I gotta know if he has it. I'm, I'm very curious. So I think we'll be guessing that. So let's do... Hmm... I'm thinking Plum and Truncheon. Let's go over here. To, we, we have the club, right? So that... We, we have that. So we're either going to reveal a weapon or a suspect. Assuming... Now, out of, out of Plum here, it's possible that Plum showed himself one time. It's possible Watson has it, but he's never shown it yet. So one of... Well... Multiple things could happen here, but my guess is either Plum is going to show Plum or someone, Green, Watson here, is going to show the Truncheon. One of those two things, I bet. If, if no one shows either of them, then we cut our, we got our weapon and our suspect in one go. Let's see if that goes. 
Oh, okay. So we know that the weapon is the truncheon, and I bet Plum has Plum. Yep, Plum has Plum. So we got one out of two. At least we've got our weapon now, okay? But we can't, we can't let on that we know that too much. I don't want to let on too much. I'd rather guess other weapons that are further down the food chain, meaning someone four or five people down have. Watson. Sword. Okay. So we learned a couple of things here. Uh, Plum showed, let's see. We've got Watson, so Plum had to have shown it wasn't the sword because he's passed on that before. So he's got Hyde Park. We know that. We've got Watson, he's passed on the sword before, and Hyde Park is the only one left over, so he's got to have Hyde Park. But in addition to that, we know that the weapon is the truncheon. And if we take a look at the sword row here, we know that there's only one left, so that means that he has to have that uh, orange rusty here has to have the sword. So that tells me that during the one and two reveal, that it wasn't the department store and it wasn't the printing press and it wasn't. Well, I guess it's just those two. But here's the thing: he could still have. He still has two cards left that we don't know about. So it's very possible that he revealed the department store or the printing press during that time. It's possible. He could have had the sword, right? He does have the sword, but he could have played another card or showed another card at that point in time. We just don't know. Um, but the more cards that we learn about people, the more we can check off, too. So it's, it's, even though we know that the truncheon is the weapon... I think it's important to know what other people have. Because now I can guess the sword in the future, right? I can guess the sword in the future. And look how many people I know will pass on that. And I'm not revealing that I know that the, what the weapon actually is. So in a way, I'm, I'm strategically guessing the wrong answer. But I'm ensuring that only the last person will be able to answer it. That will give me more, more passes on the other categories. Yeah. Strategy. Moriarty's turn. Going to the dock. I don't think we've been here yet. The magpie. <laughs> okay. The cricket bat, huh? Well, Adler showed something. What was it? Well, it wasn't Plum, because she's passed on that before. Uh, we're on number two with her. So it's either the cricket bat or the dock. Now, the first reveal that she did was either the printing press or Adler. So she, this is, it's, she's got two cards. We know what her two cards are, kind of, sort of. Two of her cards are one of, are two of these four cards. She's either got Adler, the cricket bat, the dock, and where's the other one? Did I not? Printing press, that's the other one. So she's got two of those four cards, right? But she still has that third card we don't know anything about. Moriarty. Ooh, okay, so what did Watson show? Well, it wasn't Moriarty because he's passed on that. We know that Moriarty has Moriarty. He showed it to us before. Blowpipe. It had, okay, Blowpipe in Department Store. That would be the second time? I'll mark it anyway. But it was more than likely the Blowpipe. But it's possible he has the Department Store. It's possible. Not going to say he does. It's possible. Oh, look at this. Um... Rusty passed on the department store before, uh, just now. So, okay, that actually solidifies the sword then. Yeah, so that's just, he doesn't have this. We'll just get, yeah, just get rid of that. Um, he, since he passed on the department store just now, 
He had to have shown the sword on the first suggestion that was made. So, yeah. It's looking more and more likely that he's got Sherlock and the sword and not the printing press because the printing press was part of the second suggestion. The sword was also part of the second suggestion. So it's looking more likely that he's got Sherlock and not the printing press. But again, that's more of an educated guess based on what's been revealed, not actual fact. Moriarty. Well, we know that no one has the truncheon. I've got the museum. I've got to show that. All right, well, that didn't really help me too much because we, we already know Moriarty ha has Moriarty. We know that the truncheon is the weapon and the museum. I've got the museum. So that did not help me whatsoever. None whatsoever. Eleven. Going to Hyde Park. We know that Plum has Hyde Park, but what about Wat- uh, I've got Watson. I've got to show Watson, because Truncheon is the weapon. Again, terrible round for me. There, there was no information there for me. All right, my turn. So, I'd want to guess Sherlock, I think, is my suspect, considering that the only one that's possibly shown it at this point is Rusty. It's either that or Adler. Anyone, I mean, Rusty, uh, Rusty's Rusty been possibly suggested twice. Although, with the first time, it was probably the blowpipe. But still. Uh, where do we want to go? Oh. I'd want to go... Not the department store. The department store is has possibly come up twice. Possibly. But again, it's it's linked with the blowpipe, the one and two. So more than likely it's not. But hmm. I want to pick something down the food chain, down down the chain here. Uh, let's go with um go with the printing press. And we're going to want Sherlock, because that's further down. And we're going to want... Let's go... Now, I don't want Rusty... I'm going to go with the Truncheon, because he also has... Rusty has Sherlock, possibly? And that's what I want to know. I want to know if Rusty has Sherlock. So, I don't want him revealing the sword to me if I choose swords. I'm going to have to choose the Truncheon, despite my be better judgment. Um, let's go ahead and suggest this. Oh, Watson, what what did you have? Sherlock. Interesting. So that means that Rusty did not show Sherlock on number three. That leaves the printing press. So he's got the printing press card. And that's two of his three cards that we know about. Now the other one... I don't see any other numbers on his column, so he didn't. Sit, we don't know his third card. Now we know two of Watson's card. So during the first guess, Rusty Blowpipe Department Store. Hmm. During the second guess, it was Blowpipe or Department Store. I bet you he's got the department store. I'm I'm thinking he does. I right, just enter. All right, guys, give me some information here. Ooh, big old four. Not gonna get very far with that. Those are the worst. When you roll like that. Eleven. Baker Street. That's one that Plum may have. 
We'll see. Someone's got to reveal it. All right, so Plum... Okay. Plum could have revealed himself or revealed Baker Street. We don't know. We'll just put a two and a two here. We know about the Truncheon already. All right, I've got the club. So, Rusty with the cricket bat. All right, so let's see how this played out. Rusty showed something. It was either himself, let's use the number four, or the cricket bat. Huh. I've got the club. So his third card... His third card has to be either him, Rusty, or the... It's got to be one of these two. It's got to be one of these two. So, all right. So I'm going to put a big old question mark there and a question mark there. It's got. It's one of those two. It's got to be. Actually, let's just do that. It's one of those two. So, hmm. wonder if there's a way to eliminate one or the other. Doesn't look like it. The Cricket Bats come up once with Adler on the second suggestion. So she might have the Cricket Bat, and then therefore he would have Rusty. Alright, well, let's keep going. Speculation only gets us so far, right? Okay, so, Watson, what did you show? Did you show Adler? Uh, let's use number three. Blowpipe, which he has, and Baker Street, which he doesn't have. I don't think I... It's hard to say. All right, we'll just leave it. I'm waiting for someone to make a suggestion that doesn't involve the blowpipe with Watson. Rusty revolver, huh? I gotta show the club on that one. Again, not a whole lot of information being revealed there since I'm the next one in line. Alright, let's see what I roll, then we'll figure out what we want to guess. Nine. Okay, that gives us a couple of options here. Um... Do we want to hone in on a suspect, or do we want to try and eliminate some other locations? Uh, there's the Dark Alley, for example, um, which we can't get to. How about the pub? Anyone could have the pub. That would be a shot in the dark there. If we went to... We can go to the club, which I have, and then we can narrow down... We could narrow down the suspect. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Well, let's just let's go. Let's go to the pub. I'm just curious. No one has ever suggested it, so I'm curious. Uh, let's do. Adler has been suggested once, and Rusty's been revealed. Well, su suggested and revealed once on Watson's side. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Rusty here. I, I think that Watson does not have Rusty. I think he's got department store, but it, it, it could be any or. Uh, we'll do Rusty, and um, let's do the sword because again, Rusty won't reveal that until way down the line. Eh, you know what? Let's do Truncheon. Just in case. Just in case it gets down that far. Okay, Moriarty. Bet you it's the pub. Yep, it's the pub. So Moriarty has the pub. Alright, so Rusty actually... Okay, so Watson passed on Rusty, meaning that during the first suggestion he showed the blowpipe or the department store. Not, not a whole lot of information there. All right, end turn. <gasps> hmm. Add 
Adler revealed, use number three, either Adler, the Revolver, or the Dark Alley. We don't know any of her cards, so it could be any of those. All right. This is a bad, bad game for us. We're not getting a whole lot of information from these rolls and from these suggestions. Dark Alley again. Myself. Cricket Bat. Adler showed something again. Well, it wasn't Sherlock. She's passed on that before, and Watson has it. So she either has the Cricket Bat or the Dark Alley, or both. Again, she's got three cards. We know nothing about them. But that's really narrowing... I mean, Baker Street... Uh, I bet you Baker Street is the location. In both instances, when it was suggested on, on Plum's reveal, he also has Plum checkmarked up here. So I bet you he showed... Oh! What did I tell you? Okay, so someone just... Okay, Plum just passed on Baker Street. So now we know Baker Street is the location. As far as... The culprit goes. It's either Rusty or Adler. It's one of the two. We just don't know which. All right. So let's let's just check things off a little bit again. Um, this, this would be number four here. So he either showed the Razor or Baker Street, which he didn't. He passed on that before. Or Sherl okay, so he must have shown Sherlock during this during this suggestion. I bet you that's what he did. How could how could Sherlock let it happen in his home to home? How could he? What kind of detective is he? My gosh. At least it wasn't me. Could have been worse, right? Maybe I'll get some insurance money out of it. All right, what did Plum reveal? Oh, Watson revealed to Plum. Watson revealed either Sherlock or the Razor or the pub, which we know that Moore already has the pub, so that can't be it. Someone needs to guess Rusty or Adler. Ah, Plum. Okay, so Adler revealed... Is it Plum? Nope. Revolver? Maybe. Or the Doc? Maybe. All we really need right now is just to figure out if it's Adler or Rusty. That's it. That's all we need to learn. I mean, these other ones moot at this point. Um, so that means during this Baker Street and Plum... Okay, let's get rid of the one and two. We know that he revealed Plum on the first and second time. Plum did. Um, any other things that we can ignore or get rid of? or Any other X's? Okay, so the printing press... Get rid of that one and... Oh, you know what? You know what? This this is X'd out. And it's a one. And there's no other ones. How much you wanna bet that Adler has Adler? If we get rid of this one here, then that means the only one remaining is this one. Right? There's no other one. So that uh, we're gonna be on the safe side and suggest it first, but I'm pretty sure it's rusty, truncheon. Baker Street. All right, my turn. Can we get to Baker Street, though? Not on a four, we can't. But here's what I'm going to do, though. We're going to go to the dock. Oh. Mm. 
<laughs> I hate that. Um, if we guess Adler, Adler may reveal Adler. I mean, if I guess Rusty, I, I, I suspect it's Rusty, right? It, there's, there's a high chance that Adler will also reveal the doc here. I want one of those reveals to be a suspect. I, I want her to reveal a suspect. If I pick Rusty, then she'll reveal the doc for sure, but she could still have Rusty. Whereas there's a chance that she'll reveal Adler if I pick Adler. Right? Um, let's just do Truncheon. Show me Adler. Show me Adler. Show me Adler. Yes! Okay. We got it. Okay, so we've got all the information that we need. We're going to make our accusation. Dun. Sherlock Holmes is going to make an accusation. Rusty. With the Truncheon. At 221B Baker Street. Aha! 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 Well done, you solved the crime. How could you, Rusty? I guess that's good. 37 minutes. <laughs> Alright folks, so there you go. Another look at Clue. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I've been to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.